In this video, I asked three different editors at three different price points to make me a total drama edit. Then I uploaded them on TikTok. And the results? Well, stay until the end to see. First, I went on Fiverr and searched for some short form content creators. There were a lot of options, so I looked around their previous edits and chose some of the best editors out there. After I selected my three editors, I told them about my YouTube channel and what I plan to do with their edits. I also told each one of them which clips I wanted them to use in these edits. After that, I sent them the money. And all I had to do was wait and wait. With it being summertime already, I didn't really have many things to do besides going out, working on my channel, and occasionally wondering if I had just been scammed and would never see my money back again. Anyway, only a few hours later, I received the first video. And the next two only a few days after that. This is where the fun part began, cause then I had to create an anonymous account on TikTok. I won't lie, it took me some time to decide what name I want to use. I mean, I wanted something simple, but interesting and funny at the same time. So I chose to go with Total Drama Lover 69. Very mature, I know. Now, let's take a look at the first video. I made sure to use the best hashtags and the best description, and then boom, the $5 video was uploaded. After I posted the edit, I was back waiting. I decided to post a video every 24 hours, so I set an alarm for the time when the next video needed to be posted. Besides that, I liked some other total drama edits in the hopes that this would help my growth. Meanwhile, while I was waiting for the TikTok algorithm to take my video to the top, I decided to work more on a video you're probably gonna see in a few weeks called All Total Drama Pets. I think this is a good moment to tell you guys more about me. So, I am 19 years old and I live in Romania. My life pretty much revolves around going to college and working on this YouTube channel. And for that, I really wanna thank you guys for all the support you've shown me along the way. Leaving aside my life stories, now is the time to check how the video was doing and I won't lie to you, it was bad. After 24 hours, the edit had a whopping zero views. But it was fine. I guess you can't just make a TikTok banger on your first try, especially by making an Axel and Ripper romantic edit. I was a little disappointed, but I tried not to lose hope and have faith that the next two videos might perform better. So it was time to post the second video, which cost me $10. Sometimes I just need to get away from everyone here, you know? I mean, it's like they're all driving me crazy. So, so. Now, since this is a Gwen edit, I had more faith that it would perform a lot better. I noticed that for me at least, this edit seemed a lot better than the first one. I don't know, the transitions, the editing style, it seemed like this edit really deserved its money. But still, it needed time to grow in popularity. After 24 hours had passed, the second video was no better than the first. To be honest, at this point I was really losing my hope. A lot of questions started to pop up in my mind. Did I do something wrong? What if all these edits will remain with zero views? Am I even going to post this video? But I had to get my shit together. And fortunately, the war wasn't over. Not yet. Not when I still had one last shot. The last video cost me no less than $25. So almost double than the previous two combined. But from the start, I knew that I wanted this edit to be more than just high quality. I wanted it to be spicy and maybe a little controversial. So for this edit, who would be better than Alejandro? Cole, take my shirt. Oh. I can't freeze, my Latin blood won't allow it. And if you get sick and your team votes you off, I won't get to know you better.
After the final 24 hours had passed, it was finally time to check the final results. I was a little nervous. This was the moment when I was going to find out if I was TikTok famous at last or if I burned my cash for nothing. Fortunately, it was a win. After only 24 hours, the video already reached 700 views. And my first three comments on this account, I mean the first that weren't mine. Thanks, Ziad, Sylvie, and Gwen's boy. Also, I was surprised to see that even the other two edits finally managed to make some views. Now I know that 700 views isn't a lot on TikTok, but it's enough for me. Yet, to be honest, although the edit that featured Alejandro cost me the most money and had the best results, I liked the Gwen edit more, and I kinda hoped that it would become the most popular. On the other hand, I always knew that the romantic edit with Axel and Ripper was going to rank in last place. Anyway, in the end, I'm very proud of how those edits came up. It was an entire emotional roller coaster between the failure of the first two and the success of the third. Yet, to be honest, it was also pretty fun. If you guys wanted to check the edit with the original audio, check the description below. And also, if you guys like this idea, I may make another video like this in the future. So, there it is guys. What are your thoughts on these edits? Which one did you like the most? Make sure to vote in the comments below. Take care and see you next time with a brand new video.